Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we are going to upgrade our Laudable version from Laudable 10 to Laudable 11. Now, it's been a while since we have had an episode and I've been getting basically a lot of requests to do a video like this. Uh, I'm also going to start a new Laudable 11 course. I've been getting requests for that as well. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, the course is coming out soon, hopefully, <laughs> uh, if I can uh, get around and recording all the videos. So let's get right into it. So uh, the first step for us guys is to actually go ahead and open up the Laudable upgrade documentation. This is the only place you need to really upgrade from Laudable 10 to Laudable 11. So I don't want you guys to memorize any of these commands or things I do in the video. Just refer to uh, this documentation and you should be good to go. Now I will have the link in the description, but if you want to find it yourself, just go to the Laudable documentation page under prologue. It's going to be the first link click on it and then under that it is going to be kind of the second child link I guess okay click on it now the way upgrading works in Laudable is that it is going to be incremental and by that I mean you cannot jump versions okay so you cannot go from Laudable 8 and upgrade to Laudable 11 you need to do it one by one or step by step so if you're Laudable 8 uh, you need to go to Laudable 9 first and then upgrade from 9 to 10 and then 10 to 11 in our case, we started this course at Laravel 10. So we just need to basically go to the Laravel 10 uh, documentation and follow the process here. Okay, so now that you're on this page, just scroll down. It kind of lists the changes based on the likelihood that it will happen. So it's very nice. Just scroll down for now until you reach this upgrade from uh, upgrade to 11 from 10. So the first step for us is actually to look at these kind of core dependency changes that are most likely to impact us. So the first one is we need to update our PHP version from, uh, I believe, 8.1 in Laravel 10 to 8.2 and our curl version as well. And now I have already gone ahead and updated my PHP version and I think I have PHP 8.3. But if you want to check that, you can go on your terminal and just do PHP dash V. So for me, I am on PHP 8.3. I think I also have a lot of herd installed. So I have multiple PHP versions, but my main version is 8.3. So make sure you are updating your PHP version. If you're on Windows, you're using XAMPP or any other uh, PHP environment, and make sure you're updating to the latest version and you have 8.2 or above, okay? That's all you need. Uh, curl, I believe most environments kind of go hand in hand. So if you're installing XAMPP, I think you should update curl as well. But if you are getting any errors, and make sure you are also updating your curl version and it's 8.7.34 and above. Okay, so that's it. Next step for us, this is actually kind of the most important part is updating our composer dependencies. And for this one, luckily for us, the Laravel team has kind of listed all the core ones we need to worry about. And obviously not all of them are going to apply to our application, but we just need to upgrade the ones that impact our project. So the way it works is you need to go ahead and open up your composer.json file. And I think, yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up over here, composer.json. It should be in your root uh, directory. And if you scroll down, there is a section for require and require dev. And these are basically all the dependencies we have installed on our application. And the required ones are those that are required both on production and development and required dev is only kind of things that are installed on our development environment, right? So for example, our PHP unit, mock, uh, sale, you know, a bunch of these. So we need to basically update all these dependencies and make sure they support or allow for Laravel 11. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so first thing we need to do is we need to update our Laravel version or the Laravel package to 11. So Laravel itself is a package. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm just going to copy it here. And we need to go ahead and update from 10.10 .10 to 11. Now, we also talked about the PHP version. So right now with Laravel 10, it was 8.1 as the minimum. We also need to go ahead and change this from 8.1 to 8.2 to be our minimum PHP version. And next up, we have this collision package and it needs to be 8.1 or above. So let's find it. It's over here. So I'm going to go ahead and update this collision package as well. Now, the rest of these are if installed. So this depends on if you're actually using them. I don't think we are using any of these 
the only one that we are using is a lot of all sanctum so uh, it needs to be 4.0 as the base version so let's find sanctum where is it it's over here so right now it's 3.2 let's go ahead and update it to 4.0 and i believe that's all we need to do guys since our project is super simple we don't have any real dependencies besides the base default ones i think that's all we have to do so once you have done that go ahead open up your terminal and run the following command composer update and this will go ahead and update all our dependencies okay so let's hit that uh, this might take some time okay depends on your internet speed so it's going to go ahead and download all the latest version and let's wait a few more seconds and hopefully uh, it should finish right now okay guys it took a bit longer than i expected but basically the update is done and now we are on laudable 11. now if you are having any dependency issues it might give you some error so if you guys are interested i can make a video covering how to fix those errors but basically on this project uh, you shouldn't have any issues as long as you follow the things i covered because we don't have any dependencies basically we have the default uh, dependencies that comes with laudable so the process should be very simple once you're done with that if you want to just confirm your uh, laudable version you can do php artisan dash dash version and as you can see we are indeed using laudable 11.10.0 at the time of recording this video okay pretty good now let's go back to the documentation uh, obviously the documentation lists all the changes that have been made and things you need to be aware of so if you have a larger project you do want to make sure you read the entire documentation now in our case i already kind of skimmed through the documentation and none of these actually impact us uh, there are some changes to laudable sanctum obviously the version has been changed from three to four and if you scroll down there is actually a link for a laudable sanctum so let's just click on that and as you can see it says likelihood of impact high and this one does impact us because we do have sanctum installed but we are not actually using sanctum so even if we don't do these updates our application should still work just fine uh, but i'm still going to go ahead and do that in case you know someone takes a code from github and they do decide to use sanctum so let's go ahead and run the process uh, you can go ahead and read this yourself guys i'm not going to read it on the video to save some time but we just need to go ahead and run this command first and publish the migration files so let's copy the command open up our terminal and run it and if you are using sanctum you do need to do php artisan migrate to get the migrations and uh, next we need to go ahead and inside our config sanctum.php and we need to update this middle section of the config so i'm just going to copy this again so we need to go to config sanctum.php so let's find that file uh, config sanctum.php and it's actually right at the bottom so we're already there so we just need to replace this section and that is it so basically the way the process works is you would go through this documentation uh, if you find a section that applies to your application read through it and follow the steps they have mentioned here so for example we are not using telescope so we don't need to worry about it if we were we had to basically run this command and basically whatever is mentioned here uh, one more change that has been also made is the SQLite, SQLite version has been updated so the minimal version so the minimal version needs to be 3.35 I had to do this update uh, mine was outdated actually now we're not using any unit tests right now so we don't need to worry about it but if you have done some custom tests and you're using SQLite driver for your test environment do make sure you update your SQLite version and of course again as I mentioned do read this entire uh, documentation okay that's it guys now that we are done uh, let's just do a couple of tests obviously we can go ahead and run php arts and test we don't have any unit tests just the default uh, laudable versions but these are passing so that's at least somewhat of a good sign since we don't have any unit tests we need to manually test and make sure everything works so let's go ahead and do that our pages are working that's good news our admin page is working uh, let's take a look at them uh, the profile page is working let's log out and log in as well to double check that our login is also working let's create a new idea that's working let's like it our like future is working 
uh, Laravel 11 comment. And yeah, that's a problem with not having tests. We have to manually test everything. And let's also do a little bit more testing here. Let's delete the idea as well. And I believe it is working. Let's also do a search for hello. So it seems like everything is working. If you guys do have any errors, do let me in the, in the comments. I'll make an updated video. But that is the process, guys. It's very simple. Uh, if you're not using any uh, kind of uh, third-party packages, the upgrade process is relatively simple. Now, in Laravel 11, the folder structure has been changed. But the Laravel team does not recommend that you try to migrate it. It's somewhere over here. It's over here. So basically, we do not recommend that Laravel 10 applications upgrade to Laravel 11 application structure now technically you can still update to laravel 11 structure it's a bit more difficult and if you're just new to laravel i don't recommend you do that to start a new laravel 11 project what it is something you can do is just not recommended and it's a bit difficult to do for people new to laravel so for now don't worry about it uh, if you're just new just start a new laravel project or just migrate your existing laravel 10 project to laravel 11. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.